Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily broadcast. My name is Barry Selby, and quick introduction before we get to the meat of the topic. Um, I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine, and seems to be my branding lately is I'm a heartbreak repair specialist, as I'm helping a lot of my clients, women, heal their hearts. So they can actually get a real relationship, which is kind of what inspired today's topic. So before I get to that, um, this is my 348th Facebook Live in a row. Uh, welcome to my daily broadcast. And these are called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today's topic, number 348, is um, if you know what you really want, why are you settling? And I think some of you are already going to go, oh, I know why. Yeah, well, let's get into that, shall we? Because there may be some clues and some suggestions along the way that might help you. So first of all, um, this has come up in conversation with a few clients because, well, <laughs> they're, actually seek, <clears throat> they're actually seeking my help because of the fact that they've got this experience of where they're going, but I want this, but I'm getting that. And this is dis there's disparity here. And this is the, the dance that so many people and I've included in that, because I did that myself, have made okay. And I'm looking at this through the lens of clarity, seeing a certain sense of insanity here. Because if you know what you really want, why are you not going for it? Why are you settling? Now, the context of this conversation is about relationships, about choosing partnership, and I'm talking mostly about women attracting or going after men that don't match what they really want. But the truth is this question this possibility applies to any area of your life. Because if you know what you really want in the area of business, why are you not going for it? So this, even though I'm using the model and the framework of relationships to talk about this, you can happily apply this to pretty much any area of your life. Maybe your health, maybe your diet, maybe your food choices, maybe your income level, maybe your spiritual practice. It could be pretty much applicable to anything. But I'm using this in a conversation of relationship because that's my, that's my wheelhouse, my speciality, my focus. And I have enough content to talk about in this area, so to speak. So, so let's get this, let's get this, this show on the road. Let's get the wheels rolling, as it were, this, this idea rolling forward. So thank you for joining me. If you have any questions, comments during my broadcast, please put them below and I'll answer them as I go along. If you're watching this in replay on Facebook or on YouTube, because it'll end up over there, any questions, comments you put in below, I will answer them after I finish the broadcast. And I'll tell you about where you can find me and how you can get in touch with me and how you can sign up for more information at the end of this broadcast. Okay, are we ready? Then let's begin. So, how am I going to phrase this most easily? I have some clients, <laughs> um, I shouldn't laugh too much because some of them may be watching this, that have found themselves in a quandary where they're choosing, or they're, they're actually let me put it this way. I'll take one of my clients as an example. I'm not saying which one, because I protect the innocent um, and the privacy. Her relationship was one that, let's just say, was nothing like what she wanted. Now, in this context, which may be more accurate for you, is it wasn't the way it started. In fact, this relationship started out being pretty like, wow, cool, amazing, this is wonderful. But over a period of, I'm not sure how long it was, it was less than, less than a year, it degenerated. As in the way he treated her went downhill pretty quickly. The challenge was is that at first she was put like she was chalking it up to just being comfortable and convenient, and she wasn't willing to fight for what she started with. And the truth is that many people do this, myself included, where what we have at the beginning, which is oh so wonderful and perfect, and everything's just done beautifully, on one level starts to lessen because we get comfortable with each other. Secondly, and there's another part by the way, the lens we look through at the beginning, which is so beautiful and so perfect, this wonderful person is so amazing. We start seeing them more, re more, more truthfully as time goes by. So there's two parts of that where what we end up with is not actually necessarily what we intentionally had, but it was never right in the first place. We may have had um, delusions of grandeur about the person we got in connection with that fell away when we started seeing them as they really were a few months later. So either one of those can be the telling. But the reality is, at the end of it, we still end up, end up in a relationship with somebody who doesn't match what we wanted. I trust this resonates for you because this is not unusual. And if you've dealt with this, don't feel like you're the only one by any stretch of the imagination. It's a very 
apparently, in fact, a very common experience for people. So I want to give you one more example, then I'm going to talk about some solutions. Because, as you know, if you watch my broadcast, I tend to offer assistance <laughs> in the broadcast and after the broadcast. Another thing that happens for people is that... How is it this way? Ah. The intention and vision that the, the, per, the, the person, using generic person for this, has for their relationship is so amazing, so wonderful, they don't think they deserve it and they won't go for it. So before they even go out the door looking for that vision or that, that, that stepping into the world, they shoot themselves in the foot because they don't believe they can have what they want. So they make this vision up, this intention up, that's basically a waste of time because they're never going to go for it anyway. At the same time, they're devaluing who they are because they don't think they're worthy of it. So let me give you a piece on that one right up front. If you believe you can have it, you can. And as you're going like, what? What I'm saying is, whatever you can mock up and create up in your vision, whatever you can formulate as your plan, intention for a relationship, it is possible to have that. As long as it doesn't harm anybody else. I'm going to be careful about framing that. Hopefully, if you're watching my broadcast, you don't go that direction anyway. But the reality is, many people don't believe what they desire, crave, want in a relationship is possible for them. And so they will negate it before it even starts. And so they'll settle for less because they don't think they have what they really want. And it's a shame. I mean, it's, it's sad in a way, but the truth is, you know, we get what we're willing to get. So skipping to the solution part, because it'll speak to some of that too, there's a new way of looking at this, which is, one, which is this part. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just seeing which is the best way to approach it. I've got two different angles to come in at this. And one of them is the easiest one, so I'll go there. I'm glad you enjoy, by the way, if you enjoy my broadcast, I appreciate the love and support because sometimes these things come through in strange ways and they're not always things I plan on talking about. These are never scripted and there's no bullet point list. There's no check cards or uh, index cards hanging out with notes. So this is just what comes through from what I felt was the theme. So, I can't remember where I was. An easy way in from this. First of all, ah, there we go. That was the piece I was waiting for. I knew if I, if I talked long enough, the right piece would drop in. For most people, that desire of what they want to have in a relationship, they have no clue what that is because most people don't have a clarity of what they want in a relationship. They're just looking for love and hoping it shows up and they bump into somebody and they go, oh, that'd be fun. Let's dance with them. Really? Well, if you want to use your, use your life force and energy and love that way, that's an option. But there is a better way. And as I've been mentioning and hinting, there's a the thing about what is your vision, your intention. But again, most people don't even bother with that. For many people, and if you're someone who's been married before and you're single now, you may have done this in before. You didn't have any intention or vision or, or, value or um, ideal of what you wanted. You just was like, oh, they're cute. Let's go out with them. And then it leads one thing to another. You get married, you have kids, and then you go, this wasn't what, was it I want, wasn't what I wanted. That isn't healthy. That isn't happy. So if you're in a place now where you're single, ideally maybe you haven't made those, all those, those choices before, and maybe you're free to choose again, however that shows up for you. Here's some ideas. One, get clear, get clear about who you are. I jumped. See, you, I think you think I was going to go somewhere else. Let me start with that one first. Get clear about who you are. Meaning that you may have been shortchanging yourself and devaluing yourself in the world around you. What I'm saying is get clear about who you are in the sense of appreciate, respect, honor, and love who you are. Because there's only one of you. And it's making sense. And by valuing that person, you become more radiant, more owning of who you are, and you become respectable. Now, for some of you going, I can't do that, that's too narcissistic. I don't mean that, because narcissistic actually isn't that. And, I, and I've got clients who've dealt with that in the past. What I'm asking for you, and I don't mean being um, selfish or self-centered, I mean self-supportive. So it's about respecting and appreciating who you are first. That's number one. Number two, from that place, once you have done the work to really build up that support for yourself, is get clear about your vision. I should start again. Once you get to that place, have a vision. You may not have one yet. So start getting clear about what your intention is for a relationship. And what I mean by vision is an image, picture, feeling, experience, ideal, 
story, dream, description, whatever that is for you, of that perfect relationship. Well, I use the word perfect, but I mean that relationship that is really where you want to go, that you'd love to have and it would be a life changer for you, that you've been dreaming of forever. Get clear, write it out, describe it, draw pictures, whatever that is for you that really infuses you with that joy and that feeling of owning that space, do it. There's two. Both of these, by the way, are under the um, auspices of being single. So if you're in a relationship, this might be challenging to do whilst you're in a relationship. Well, the first one you do anywhere you are, in a relationship or out of a relationship. Self-esteem, self-support, self-appreciation is a recommended um, discipline for everybody. And I've, I suppose I can help you with that if you're interested in that, and I'll talk about, talk about it in a moment. Vision for a relationship, ideally do when you're single, because it's not really nice to do it in front of somebody you don't want to be in a relationship with. So if you're in a relationship now, you might want to think about either how do you change the relationship you have to where it wants to go, which is possible, or how do you disengage in a way that's clean and healthy and you, and you sign off, as it were. And that's a whole other conversation, not for this broadcast. So I'm presuming in this case, you are single. Self-support first, self-image, self-respect, appreciation, up-leveling who you are. Getting clear about your vision and intention of what you want to have and who you want to be with and what sort of relationship you want to have as well. And the third piece is going to sound silly, but this is the reality of it. Is take the time with your vision, that intention, that clarity of what it is you want to have in a relationship and own it. Now, it's a very simple statement, but what I'm declaring for you, what I'm suggesting to you, is that you know if you can create it, as I said at the beginning. If you can create it, if you can imagine it, you can have it. But then it's a place of ownership because you've got to step into that vision to really own it. I have a program... Um, I created a while ago called Attract the Man You Want for the ladies, for the straight ladies that must be qualified in this one again. And part of the process of that journey, because I call it create your 4D relationship, not 3D, but 4D experience of relationship. Because what I do in that practice with the clients is actually create the vision that they take ownership of, they embody, they take it on. So it's not just a vision out there, they're actually inside and they embody it completely. You can do that too. You can also do my program if you like as well. And you can ask me about that later on. So those are the three main pieces I'll say are the best place to go from. is One, self-support, self-ownership, self-respect. Two is getting clear on the vision and the intention you want to have. And three is owning it or embodiment or um, like taking it on, like putting on a new set of clothes. So you really experience what it feels like to be there. Because one, once you get it on, that outfit, and you feel like what it feels like to be in that relationship in your imagination, in your, in your, in your perception, you might find it doesn't fit. Like you want to go, mm, need to make some changes. That's when you can because you're not in a relationship. This is the embodiment of the feeling of that. This is the whole experience that I work with through with, with my clients. And this is such fun because it's almost like, like adjusting to what you really want to have and then making it happen. Because what happens is once you do have ownership, embodiment, and support for this vision, first of all, you will choose a much higher level than you have in the past. Secondly, the people you meet will fit or not fit that vision. And you'll know. So basically what happens is you have this discernment now where you're not just going oh they're cute or they're cute you'll go not my not the fit doesn't fit that vision and you can go on a few dates and get to meet people and you can try to test in a way test drive them if you want to use that terminology but intentionally what you have is an experience with that person of like their values don't fit or their intentions don't fit or their experience doesn't fit whatever that is or it does fit and so what happens is your clarity of intention becomes your um filtering system in a way it's going to help you find what you're looking for and also get clear what doesn't match so you actually make better choices so making better choices is your fourth option full step in the process i'm building a whole program here it seems when you've done that it becomes much easier and the relationships you choose from this point forward will be a whole other level above where you were before i think that's about it there was a fifth piece that was four i think that's it so, to summarize, you can have what you want. First of all, you've got to get value, but value who you are so you can have what you want. Secondly, get clear about what you want. Three is actually taking on the body it. And fourth is the test drive, to actually go and do it out in the world. And I'm making this very clear, very succinct and simplistic, but that's what I talked about so you can review for the rest of this. If you're just joining in late in the broadcast. If you want some clarity about how to do this and how to go deeper versus just talking my talk here, 
um, reach out and get, reach out and grab me. Reach out and get, reach out and touch me, as it were. Um, if you go to my website, well, no, don't. If go to my website, which is barrysober.com, my name, and click on the Let's Chat um, button, which is the first po- choice in the menu, or just go to barrysober.com forward slash chat and sign up there. That's a gift from me to you. It's my thirty minutes discovery session I offer you to get clear about what you want in love and life and relationships. That will get you started, and I'll talk about what I have to offer if that lines up for you but also get you some guidance and clarity and some direction of where you want to go in that time. So take advantage of that. It's my gift and it's there for you, but you've got to say yes to it. It doesn't just happen without you doing something. Um, secondly, if you haven't seen my other broadcast, this is number 346, I think it was, seven? I lost track for a second there. All of my previous broadcasts and this one live on my business page on Facebook, which is barrysilby.author. They also end up being on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, and the playlist is Message from the Masculine. And they're on my website, but right now I'm just going to say, go look at my website for all the stuff I do offer there. My book is on there. Uh, My interviews and other appearances on summits are on there. Um, My coaching program, online program, Attracting the Man You Want, is all on there as well, which is under my website, which is barryselby.com. Again, if you have any questions, comments about this broadcast, you haven't put them in yet, I will answer them afterwards once uh, once I sign off. And my invitation to you as your homework for today, because I do offer homework most times, is if this is something that has been on your mind, take an action step. Whether it's with me, with an offer, invitation, or whether it's something you do yourself, take this on. It will change your life, it will change your opportunities, and it will actually raise the bar for what you want in love and relationship. That is your homework. With that, I'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and uh, take care of yourselves. Bye.